Bad Wolf here, and today I wanted to show you what I've been working on in preparation for the Eldrick Moon pre-release. I have always wanted to throw a themed party for the magic releases, but I don't really have enough people to invite over for food and stuff, and I'm a little bit lazy, so I don't really want to throw a party. I kind of just want to prepare it over time and say I threw a party and pretend like I threw a party. Yeah. Anyway, I have lots of Pinterest board ideas for themed parties I'm gonna throw. Baby Chandra is getting a Harry Potter themed party when she turns 11 and she does not have a choice about it because it's happening whether she likes it or not because that's the age she's gonna get her letter and it's gonna be awesome and great and there's gonna be Quidditch and snitch food and butterbeer and all sorts of goodness. But this is not Harry Potter. This is the Eldrick Moon re pre-release slash release slash it's coming. Emma Cool's here and I've gone completely insane. Yes. So, one thing I noticed in a lot of the art is they have a lot of pinks and purples. The f Liliana art they released when they first announced the set has tons of pink and purples and it's gorgeous and it's awesome. And I decided, hey, I can make an Oreo cheesecake that looks kind of like that. And I'll make them mini size so they're like a couple of bites, not like a whole slice. They're not just one bite. They're a little too big for one bite, but they are delicious and they're Oreo cheesecakes. And they're pink and purple and I think they look perfect just like Liliana would be. You know, with the pinks and the purples and the zombies and all that good stuff in there. Yes, that, yeah. The zombies, that's the Oreo parts, I'm guessing. But basically, I'll link um, below to the recipe I used. And the only thing different I did was after I made the batter and before I added the cookie pieces for the filling part, I just split it into three, dyed one pink, dyed one purple, and put the cookie crumbles in the white-ish one, because it's not completely white, it's white-ish. And then mixed those up so that the food coloring and stuff was all mixed up and then spooned like one spoonful each of each color into the thing and mixed it up a little and then cooked it and stuff like that. So let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Mmm. This is for science. But inside it's also pink and purple and it's got Oreo pieces in it too. Mmm. And it's really good. Mmm. Mmm. It has an Oreo crust, too. Mmm. It's just good. But can you see what I say? Not just one bite. It's like two, maybe three. Although I do have a tiny mouth. So, there's that. But these are really delicious. And when I throw my party, I'm totally going to do these for dessert because they're perfect. Plus, who doesn't like cheesecake? Okay, some people don't, but I like cheesecake, and that would mean more for me. So that's what's important here. So leave a comment below what you're most excited for about this pre-release and what foods you would throw in a themed party. So yeah, do that in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe for more deliciousness because I'm just going to keep eating this. See? Three bites. Mmm.